reminds me, Arthur Kate, so last time I saw you, Grace Albig, you had this show on E. Now I'm sitting here at this full screen, these offices. I want to move in here. I want to move our whole studio in oh, here. Oh, yeah. And I remember reading several months ago that your movie was picked up for digital distribution, and here we are. It's now on full screen. How cool. It's very cool. It's very cool, especially because I'm really proud of this series, and I really want people to watch it. So to have a platform that enables people to watch it is really a big part of the battle. Electra Woman and Dinah Girl, yes. they obviously showed clips. Yes. It looks so freaking awesome. Thank you. How'd you come up with the whole thing? Well, Hannah had actually created a series with a friend of hers, and they sold it to Nerdist. Nerdist got absorbed into Legendary. Legendary had this property, Electro Man and Dino Girl, which is a, a series from the 70s by Sid and Marty Croft. And the two properties had really similar storylines of friendship and superheroes, so they were easily combined into one. And we were brought in to, uh, to try to recreate and reboot this 70s series, Electro Man and Dino Girl, which is going to be really exciting because the super fans out there that know it, which as far as I've learned are very few and far between, <laughs> I think will feel like this is, you know, it honors that series, but it also creates something brand new for our audience that exists in a more digital platform. Being at this full screen presentation today, Brady Sinalis, I feel so old. The world is just passing me by. This is where it's moving and you're part of it, man. You have this new series on full screen. Talk to me all about it. Um, well, uh, it's based on a bunch of short movies I made about two years ago that Full Screen saw about a year and a half ago, and they've been pursuing me to turn it into a series. So um, basically, we all agreed on what direction to go in, and Full Screen really wanted it to be dark, super violent, super sexual, really push the envelope. And I said, Full Screen wants to do this? And they said, yeah, we want a really edgy drama to like anchor our schedule. And so I said, okay, God, full screen. And what works about this show is that it was conceived as a show that you could do 12 minute episodes of, that you didn't need an hour to tell the story each week. And so knowing that, knowing what full screen uh, expected from me, I don't know, it just ultimately made sense. But I, I feel very old being here as well. But that's just an observation. I don't look at it as a bad thing or a good thing. It's just, it just is what it is. You've written some of literary's most iconic works, some of my favorites from American Psycho to Rules of Attraction that have been turned into some of my favorite movies. What is it like transitioning to something like this where you have to tell a complete story in 12 minutes? Well, look, I've written a lot of scripts. I've worked in a, on a lot of television shows that didn't get aired. Um, uh, it was a challenge. When you're told that your pilot, your pilot for your series is 12 minutes long, it's like, and the entire series itself is going to be about 98 pages. Uh, I've written pilots that are 98 pages. So it was, it was very strange scaling everything back and realizing what is really important, what is really going to make an impact, and what isn't. It's all good. It's all good, it's you're all right. Good. I had to work that in. I was just telling you guys, I feel so old. This is where the world is moving <laughs> full screen. These just five to ten minute videos, and you guys are the stars of this new platform. It's, it's not too cool. late, though. You're invited. You're, You're in. in. You're, You're in. in. <laughs> I'm old. I don't have that energy either anymore. <laughs> so congratulations. Super exciting. Talk to me about your series on full screen. Thanks. Yeah. So, uh, oh, wow. if I may, I, lo I love mics. <laughs> Um, this is a man who hosts for a living as well. So yeah, yeah, I do a mix of hosting and also like on the camera, um, non-scripted and um, scripted. Uh, we're working on a show right now called Party in the Back. Uh, I actually came up with the name, uh, and the reason I came up with Party in the Back is because I kind of thought about all the shows and movies as the business in the front um, of SVOD, the uh, full screen, and Party in the Back is kind of like unfiltered, just like in the moment, spontaneous, whatever happens, happens, and that's, that's, that's what's going to be the cut. I want my mic back. I don't like people sealing my mic. Although uh -huh. it's <laughs> oh, probably better on yeah. it than I am. All right, Alexis, your show is called Zall Good. Yes. Talk show, talk to me all about it. Okay, so basically the way I describe the show is it is a show where I talk about all the things that I find interesting as well as have dynamic chats with exciting young people all the while using funky fresh adjectives. Ooh, funky fresh. I love, yeah. how, you just, I love how you just went into character right there. That Got was it. awesome.